Okay, friends, we're going to start with our um, large 11 by 17 sheet of paper. We're going to be drawing with a Sharpie today because this is a really easy drawing. So I don't think you'll have any trouble with, um, with drawing it with a Sharpie instead of a pencil and an eraser. Um, so we're going to start at the very top of the page. Now we're drawing a tree. It's going to have a big hole in the side of the tree. It's pretty up close and it's going to have an owl in the tree. It's not totally realistic. So you're going to be able to kind of change up how you do this if you want to make it a little different than mine. So you need about three to four fingers of space on each side of your page for the edge of the tree. So I'm just going to start at the top. Does not have to be perfectly straight because it's the edge of a tree. It's not, um, not all trees are perfectly straight. So I'm going to make the other side over here. If your Sharpie's not working, throw it away and get another one. The Sharpie didn't work very well. Okay, so we've got the sides of our tree. Now we want to do the whole of the tree. Okay, but let's think about the composition real quick. We don't want a teeny tiny hole because that's not gonna make the picture very interesting. You want about a hand space at the top. So if you wanna put your hand there, and put a little dot, then put your hand at the bottom and put a little dot. That's kind of what you want for the top and the bottom of the hole. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of start right here. Go all the way around. You see, it is not perfect, but it's a hole in a tree, so it probably shouldn't be perfect. Okay, now the hole in the tree is gonna have an owl. Now his head is gonna be facing, looking straight at us, but his body is kind of turned, so you're only gonna see one wing. So his head is gonna be kind of in this space, his body is gonna be down here. So the first thing we're gonna do we're going to draw an oval for his head. Then we're going to draw an oval shape, but not all of the oval is actually seen. Okay. So I'm basically going to start here. And if, it, if I was drawing an oval, I would do like this. Okay. But we're only doing right here and it doesn't go through here. So I'm going to start here. I'm going up. Then I kind of air draw across, which means I'm drawing, but in the air. Then I'm coming down, okay? Now, his wing is over closer to the left because it's the side of his body. So I just go up and back down, okay? Now, let's go back to his face. Now, the easy way to draw an owl is a V, then come back to the head, we want to go across and fill that in for the beak. And then I've got to make his eyes. Now, this owl is going to have lots of patterns. Since we've been talking about patterns, I thought this would be a really good use of those Zentangle patterns that we just did. So we're going to kind of do our Zentangles on the um, owl. So the first thing, we're going to do the eye. So we're going to do a big circle and an eye. I know it's very big. Okay. Now, what can we do to make, the, make uh, to use our Zentangles for these eyes? I'm going to make another line around. And once again, yours does not have to be exactly like mine. I'm thinking that I'm gonna kinda just make some little lines. You want to have spaces that you can fill in when we start painting. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to work on the, I'm going to scoot down here for a minute and I'm going to work on the wing. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make some just little U-shaped feathers. Okay, I'm going to make one row of U-shaped feathers. Then I'm going to make another row. They're kind of shorter because they're under that first row of feathers. Okay. Now you could continue this all the way down. I think I would like a little variety. So I'm just going to make the bottom part of mine stripes. Because those wing feathers kind of look like that anyway. Because it's like feathers on top of each other in a row. Okay. So now I've got to work on the body of the owl. I'm going to start adding my feathers. Okay. Now keep in mind when you're doing this, you don't want teeny tiny feathers because you're going to be painting these. Okay. They can be small, but you don't want to be teeny tiny. Okay, now I've got three rows. I think I'm going to do one more row of feathers. Let's see here. One more row of feathers. And then I'm going to do a different pattern at the bottom because I don't want it to be like, I don't want this pattern on the whole thing. So I think I'm just going to do kind of a little dash pattern like this. Okay. And then I'm going to use that pattern up here too. So I'm going to kind of use that on his face. That way it kind of ties the um, head into the, ties the head into the body. Okay. Okay, I don't like that this is solid. I really want it to have a pattern on it too. So I think I'm just gonna do like a little squiggly line. There we go. Okay, now let's think about what this right here is gonna be the outside of the tree. So it's gonna be black and we're gonna do some little shiny stars because it's nighttime. Okay. Now, on the inside of the tree, we've got to do a pattern for the inside of the tree, for the bark. So, you could do this quite a few different ways. I am just going to kind of make some little lines going up and down. These are, I mean, nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. There we go. Just a few little lines. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is paint. Now, you're going to take your brush. You just kind of barely dip the tip in it. You don't dip the whole paintbrush down into the paint. Just the tip, just the bristles. This part should not have any paint on it. Now, I'm going to kind of turn my paper. Just It just helps. Now, we want to paint all of the black hole in the tree. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my paintbrush. I'm holding it just like a pencil. I'm using the tip to paint around the edge of the bird, okay? So I'm making sure that I get all the way around the edge. Don't flatten the brush out like this too much. We're definitely not scrubbing. Make sure you have paint on your brush. Okay. And we're gonna do that around the whole thing. 
I'm just filling in. Now we have our hole in the tree painted. Now we don't want to get black paint all over our um, tables. So if you have a little piece of construction paper, you can just slide that under, under it. Um, I have a folder here that I usually use for that. I'm just going to slide my piece of scratch paper under there. And this time I'm going to get a bigger brush. Okay. I'm getting a flat brush, which makes more sense when you're kind of painting a bigger space. When I do that, I'm doing the same thing that I did over here. I'm going up against the edge. See, then I can, I can go right off the page and it'll be okay. Okay. I'm going down. I'm not going over spots more than once, okay? Once I get paint on there, we're done with it. There's no need to go over it more than once, okay? So there's the first part. Now, then you're gonna scoot it a little bit. You might need to turn it. I'm gonna go uh, beside the edge. Well, I can see a little few little spots over here that I missed. If you see spots that you missed, just fix it. Make sure the edge is on the on your scratch paper. Don't forget to go outline slow and steady up against your slow and steady up against the drawing line. Move your paper a little bit. Kind of moving it over a little bit. I, I like to spin my paper so that my paintbrush is close and I'm not getting my arm in the paint. So that's why I kind of spin it as I go. And 
there we got it. I've got my all my black painted and my owl is ready to go.